for this morning. Replacing this old dinosaur that Noah had on his ark. Nice straightforward swap. Feel will go straight back out of the same hole. I'll hope to just lop all these off here and coupling them back onto the new tails. All the backsy mains going in. It's a rental property, this. The only issue is the gas pipe here is only 15 mil and we need a minimum 22. But it does convert under the floor. Let's take that board out to change it to 22. Filter on the return here. EPH stat. A few spares downstairs. So yeah, get it ripped off. So when you're taking your old ones pieces, it's always worth keeping the little screws out of it, multiple sizes here, for if ever you turn up to a boiler that hasn't been missing a screw off the case, etc. Got that tip off, good old PB plumber. Continue taking this to pieces. So template's on now. In the position of the old flue, as you can just see that. Another couple of screws in that bracket, but it's going to be all dust. <laughs> I normally then put the tails off the boiler up against this, and then mark down where it needs cutting off. But these are swaged fittings, nice. Because of all this snots and stuff, I'm probably just going to lop them all off down here. Get some clips on the wall here, standoff clips, and start again. Although it'll be a waste of let's say, four extra couplings, because that'll have to magna clean on. It, it just looked better. And it saved me a bit to mess around trying to warm this up and clean it off. Hope that makes sense. Won't be five extra couplings either, because I've got to change that. Yeah. Lop all these off. So I've cut all them off now. All them four are the same height. I'm just going to get my level. Level all these down and get some clips on. I use Talon plugs. Some people have asked me that. Talon, I love them. Although if you're on Instagram, there's a lot of hype for Fisher at the minute, but I've used these since I was a, since I was a wee boy. Let's knock it in. One big bit of advice I can give you is whenever you're first fixing anything, if you get your clips on, all everything it just makes life so much easier going forward. Everything's all plumbing in line. You just literally boom, clicking your pipes in, catching your fittings up, job done. It's easy. When you're trying to get onto stuff like this, some plastic underneath the floor, do you know what I mean? You can easily lose your levels. Clip it up, although it takes an extra 10 minutes, it does look neater. And overall, you just get a better job. This bit's therapeutic. If the cameraman can hold it. Camera square. Lovely. I'm gonna sweat that off as well because I'll use that blow off hole again. And clean filters. You've got an A valve and a B valve. So B is the bottom. That's how you remember it. B to the bottom. I'll drop the boil on the wall. I like to put my tails in and valves on, all tightened up before dropping said boil on the wall just because it's easier. Especially if the pipes are dropping down like they are for this one. Unfortunately, double couplings. Well, by the time the insulation's on, you'll never see them anyway. So yeah, carry on with uh, these next three before doing the grass. Yeah, 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 grass before doing the gas. So that's them, four done. 
like what this is an elbow across and in for the blow off. Condensate hole is now drilled, ready for outside. Need to cut up this board so I can get onto the 22 mil gas before renewing that up there. Been looking everywhere for my tape measure. There she is. Progress update, just been messing around with that blow off. Like I said, I wanted to reuse the old hole. Looks a bit better now. Um, I'm going to have a look at wiring this up. Blew the flue for outside and then do the gas. I don't know why I'm putting off, well I know why I'm putting off the gas because there's a load of bloody pipes underneath here, cables and all sorts. I don't want to cut that up because I don't want to hit any bit but I'm going to have to do it at some point. Anyway, so far so good. Not quite square. This is the beauty about talon clips. I won't be able to do it now, will I? Because I'm on film. But they do. Oh, click together. I think it's the right dodgy one, are you look. Even the hinge has snapped. Anyway, they clip together. So on this one. Snap pipe in. I'm making this look. Miles harder than it actually is. Ah, bugger it. We'll chop this bit out. You don't need to know. Something like that anyway. You can see that, but they must have changed the design of these fillers and reduced the holes through to inside. Might be able to see it better on the inside. See, they're not circle anymore. I suspect that's to help the water flow around the magnet better. I thought it was a flaw at first, but it seems not. A little bit of a progress update for you. Condensate's now in, uh, gas is now in. Condensate to outside, finished, straight into an inch and a half. Waste, which is running across the wall. I've wired her up, but that needs tidying up. She's telling me there's no pressure in, because that is my next job. Um, and screw up the flue, that's in. Can't remember what else I gotta do. I'm gonna get the Magna Cleanse out whilst I'm commissioning. Let that do its thing. We've got to insulate the pipes, you know, because part L and all that, all that jazz. Yeah, catch up with you in a bit. Right, guys, that's it. Job done. I've just got um, down straight to the tenant and clean up this floor. Other than that, she is done. Ready for the next one. Two lovely little mains. 830 quid with the flu. And your Magna Clean's roughly about 100 quid. EPH 70. Cheapest, well, one of the cheapest options for a rental. As usual, thank you all for watching. Don't forget, forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more of this. Bye bye now.